Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I am your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today within 10 minutes we are going to revise the plant kingdom. Yes, you heard me right that in 10 minutes we are going to revise the plant kingdom. We are going to revise the examples with the help of tricks. So from plant kingdom in the neat examination, 3 to 4 questions are expected. 3 to 4 questions means you can say that if 3 questions are coming, 12 marks are there. So, we are going to revise it in less than 10 minutes. So, we are going to start with the algae, right? Algae, you know that the simplest plant, then bryophytes, then pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms, which are highly advanced plants, they are present, right? So, when you talk about the algae, algae is having what? It is having the haplontic life cycle. The main plant body is gametophytic, right? The zygote is the only sporophytic cell, only diploid cell, otherwise it is basically the haploid. So, now what we have to focus here in the algae, we just need to look for these classes and the examples because they are very important. So, in algae, we study chlorophyzy, we study pheophyzy, we study rhodophyzy, chlorophyzy, chlorophyll, green algae it is. So, here in chlorophyll, like the higher plants, A, chlorophyll A and B is present. Then pheophyzy, the brown algae, here A and C, chlorophyll A and C is present. So, how to remember this? Chlorophyzy, green algae, like the higher plants, A and B chlorophyll, rhodophyzy, red algae, Rhodophyce are red, red, rhodo, duh. So, A and D, A and D chlorophyll is there. So, we are left with the brown algae and brown algae will be having the chlorophyll A and C. This is the first thing. Second thing that you need to remember is pheophyce is brown. Why is it so? Because of the phycoxanthin. Red algae, why is it red? Because of the phycoerythrin. Now, we will focus on the tricks, right, by which we can revise it very easily. So, when you talk about the green algae, the trick here is S-U-V-C-H-L cara. S-U-V-C-H-L cara. You repeat it. You repeat it with me. S-U-V-C-H-L cara. S-U-V-C-H-L cara. Or you can say S-U-V chal cara. So, S stands for spirogyra. U stands for eulothrix. V stands for volvox. C-H-L chal stands for chlamydomonas. And cara is again the green algae. A very important question, right? Then comes the brown algae. In the brown algae, the trick here is self-DP, right? S stands for sargasm. E stands for Actocarpus, right, which is an exception as well, which is having haplodiplontic life cycle. L stands for Laminaria, which is edible, eatable as well. Then comes the Fucus, again one exception, having diplontic life cycle, having ear bladders, right. The next is DP. The trick here is what? It is self-DP. The trick here is what? Self-DP. So, D stands for Dictyota. P stands for Pheophyce. So, in this way, you guys can revise the examples, okay? Then comes the Rhodophyce. Rhodo means red. Red color is because of phycoerythrin. Red color is because of phycoerythrin. So, here we have the trick that is P2, G2. What is the trick that we have here? P2, G2. So, P stands for Porphyra. P stands for Polysiphonia. G stands for Gelidium. G stands for Gracilaria. So, this is how you guys can revise the algae in less than one minute. Then we will talk about the bryophytes. For the bryophytes, the trick is my first place cure. And what do you have to remember here in bryophytes? The life cycle. The life cycle is haplodiplontic. The life cycle is haplodiplontic. And here in bryophytes, the dominant phase is. The photosynthetic phase is the gametophyte which is the haploid phase but sporophyte here is present which is multicellular, right? So, sporophyte is partially or totally dependent on the gametophyte. So, the trick here is my first place secure. So, M stands for Marchensia, F stands for Funaria, P stands for Polysiphonia, S stands for Sweganum which is also known as peat moss which is also known as peat moss. This is what you need to remember here in the case of bryophytes. So, my first place secure. Marchensia, Funaria, Polysiphonia and then comes the Sphagnum. Now, moving ahead, Pteridophytes, the first terrestrial plants, the Tracheophytes, they are, they are the first successful land plants having the xylem, having the phloem. Again, 
in the case of pteridophytes the life cycle is haplodiplontic right haploid phase diploid phase both is present but in the case of pteridophyte the main plant body the photosynthetic plant body the dominant phase is the sporophyte that is a diploid phase what is a sporophyte something which is going to form the spores it's a diploid stage it will form the haploid spores that spores germinate and they will form the gametophyte so here in the case of pteridophyte the point that you people need to remember is here even the gametophyte is not dependent on sporophyte sporophyte and gametophyte both are present sporophyte is the dominant phase right and gametophyte is also there and gametophyte is also independent it is not dependent right it is not dependent and in the case of pteridophytes because of heterospory because of the formation of different different spores in some pteridophytes it was a precursor for the seed habitat okay so here what is the trick that we have the trick here is please tero yes please tero what is the trick here it is please tero you know that in the pteridophytes we talk about the different different classes please tero p xylopsida l lycopsida s sphenopsida tero teropsida tero teropsida so p here is xylotum l here is lycopodium and selaginella s here is equisetum what is s here equisetum right then here in the steropsida tero teres dryo teres and then edientum which is water fern so this is how you have to revise the pteridophytes now the next here is gymnosperms so gymnosperms are basically the phanerogams means they are going to produce the seeds but their seeds are going to be naked even if you are talking about the gymnosperms or the angiosperms both are having the seed both are having the seeds even angiosperms are the flowering plants so gymnosperms and angiosperms because of the presence of seeds we used to say they are the phanerogams right even you can also call it spermatophyta right so the plants which are seedless cryptogams plants having the seeds they are phanerogams right so in gymnosperms the trick here is go students please check please check cup go students please check up g stands for ginkgo living fossil s stands for sequoia the tallest tree the tallest plant red giant wood sequoia p p stands for pinus which is monoecious c stands for cycas again a living fossil it is dioecious male and female they are male part and female part on a different plant different male and female plants are there and then comes the seed that is the cedrus so this is all about the tricks of the plant kingdom this is how you guys can revise the plant kingdom right very quickly and along with that i also told you about the life cycle so these two things are very 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 important when you talk about the plant kingdom and such type of questions used to come in your examination and if you talk about the angiosperms flowering plant we even covered that in sexual reproduction in flowering plants so in angiosperms just pollen grains are male gametophyte right that type of points you need to remember like in the uh, embryo sac is the female gametophyte such type of points you need to remember i hope you enjoyed this session where in less than 10 minutes we have revised the examples of the plant kingdom and all the important points so for such videos do subscribe our channel bachche because here on this unacademy neat english you are going to get amazing content for our team right and uh, for that obviously we need your support so do subscribe our channel as well thank you so much and do let me know in the comment section you liked it or not thank you